I'm Paul, and I am going to be discussing with you radio astronomy. Radio astronomy is a unique and interesting part of the tool set that an astronomer has, and it allows us to see things that aren't visible with the naked eye or with an optical telescope. Light, as we know, is on a spectrum, with X-rays and gamma rays being at the most energetic end, and radio waves being classified as the least and lower energy of the electromagnetic spectrum. Optical, uh, the optical radiation that we can perceive with our eyes is pretty much in between the, the, two, the two extremes. With this tool, we can see hydrogen, for example. Hydrogen has a wavelength in cold gas clouds of 21 centimeters, which is far longer than the wavelengths we see with the naked eye and with the optical instruments. This basically means we see things that we could never ever see before. And there's actually big gaps in a universe that's supposed to be homogeneous. Um, there's big gaps where matter isn't. And these radio telescopes can show us that. They also can show us lighthouses that we would never have been able to see. Pulsars. Pulsars are a star that has collapsed and now it emits, because of its intense magnetic field, it emits a beam up and down um, of radio waves and it rotates at a very precise frequency and we can actually use them as clocks and they indicate to us the nature of space-time. And this is all visible now and able to be perceived thanks to radio astronomy. Thanks and take care.